So greetings, I got a bench press video here to show you. So this is a bench press and lots of auxiliary lifts. So this is me playing around on the GoPro. It's a GoPro Hero 8 set up on time lapse. So you're not going to see real time movement on all the exercises here. But um, anyways, you're going to see some inclined bench. I'm going to move it down to a bench off the floor in a little while too uh, with uh, hips elevated. So it kind of simulates a decline press easiest way to do it. So chalk in the bar up here. Again, I've talked about that liquid chalk earlier. Uh, so kettlebell rows, kettlebell swings, uh, kettlebell laterals. It's very important, I think, when you're doing pushing exercises to keep the load balanced across your shoulder. So I'm doing accessory movements with the bands in between each set here. So you're going to notice I got 10 in each arm, kettlebell swings, kettlebell upright rows, doing uh, suitcase suitcase shrugs as it were if you do them in one arm it's called a suitcase shrug um, so there you go uh, face pulls tricep extensions and actually that's called a banded uh, it's basically like a pullover if you will so it's an accessory chest movement there but that kind of lets me build the weight up here and what i'm trying to do is if you push you got to pull across the same joint so uh, wrist wraps and now elbow wraps they kind of just keep your elbows nice and warm all that heat that you build warming up it kind of keeps it in there keeps your elbows stable when you're pushing the bigger weight so as we start pyramiding up um, you just start adding equipment one thing you'll notice here that that bench there it's about a hundred dollar bench i got it on amazon uh, i'll link to that in the description so i'm kind of learning to trust that thing right because it is a hundred dollar bench it's not that sturdy it's rated to 800 pounds um, i'm kind of adding adding my confidence in it so obviously not willing to just jump and say, yeah, go for 800 pounds right now because uh, pretty big consequences if you drop that. So uh, Alistair's joining me here. He's uh, starting some kettlebell lifting as well here. So anyways, um, this is the heaviest set that I'm working up to here on the 225. So on the incline and then, of course, again, uh, face pulls you, with the bands. So those are rogue bands. Those are heavy uh, west side barbell bands. Uh, you can double the bands up. I, I love the love the feel of a band. You can obviously add progressive weight as far as you stretch them out. You can add bands. You can pull multiples at the same time. Uh, just a very, very good piece of equipment to keep. They fold up into nothing. You can put them in a backpack and fly with them. Uh, great piece of gear. All right, so I'm done here. I'm going to put the pad down on the bench, adjust the clips, hit some shrugs, and now I'm going to actually hit so this is simulating a decline bench, so get some good hip mobility there, glute bridges, and then just pushing right off. So this, this simulates a decline bench. So I also want to shout out Josh Bryant, Jailhouse Strong. So he's the author of the book, Jailhouse Strong. I'm repping the t-shirt here. Uh, just a great, great author for all kinds of strength methods. He's currently coaching Julius Maddox, who's going to go for an 800-pound bench press soon. Uh, so he's taught everybody from bodybuilders to just world champion athletes. Uh, Here's River. She's uh, trying to get involved. She doesn't understand what's going on right now. Uh, but anyways, yeah, just to, just a great system of training. Learns how to train uh, mentally tough as well. So I love Josh Bryan's work. He's a great coach. He also has his own channel. Uh, inspired me a ton. So uh, here everything goes back together as we wrap this workout series up. you got to keep it tight, keep it clean. And Lindsay's bike goes back. Thanks for watching.